Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Hope that you guys are all having a good start to your Friday. So today is the first day of the second half of 2022 and the market is in the red. Surprise, surprise. So we're not off to the best start. Uh, we did peak um, and show signs of resistance actually during today's live trading session with my Learn Plan Profit Group. One of the things that I pointed out is the same pre-market resistance and the same resistance that we had for TQQQ yesterday, right before the market closed, right around 2440 to 2450 was the same resistance range that we experienced today. Same support range was established during the pre-market level. As you guys can see that um, TQQQ hit lows of around $23. And it seems like we are retesting that once again on the five minute time frame. If we look at the one minute time frame, uh, we're still getting rejected by the moving average, but there's a potential day trading setup if you see it to be worth it. I mean, the potential upside, if we go back to that same resistance level right around 24.50 is about 4% upside. You can manage your risk at around 1%. Uh, four to one ratios are definitely not bad. But again, asking yourself that simple question, do these ratios or does this criteria even you know, meet your criteria because market direction is not in your favor. We're trading below the moving average. The market is choppy and market sentiment is also unsure, right? So it's not that there's great momentum in your favor and this is actually something that we talked about in today's live session where you know you need to be selective in the days that you choose to day trade just because you can day trade doesn't mean that you should i don't know if you've ever experienced this but i think that this is for any of our members uh that are under the pdt rule right the pdt rule only allows you to day trade three times within a five-day period and with that being said i know i've experienced this where i waste all of my day trades in, in trades that weren't worth it, maybe in days like this, where yes, I could potentially make money, but I could potentially not, right? Especially because the market is so choppy. It's not guaranteed that overall direction is going to be in my favor that we actually recover to highs of $24. It might only hit highs of $23.90, right? It might only hit highs of $23.64. It might even go red, right? But how many times have you wasted all of your day trades? And then when an actual trade setup with favorable conditions does present itself, you have no more day trades left. And I think that's one of the worst feelings, right? Because we all know what we're looking for, market sentiment to be in our favor, market uh, showing signs of higher highs and higher lows, and direction being consistent. Those are favorable conditions, at least for myself. And I know that on those days, it's much easier. It's still not easy, but much easier to trade. And those are the days where I can fully step on the gas with a large position and make a decent amount of money. On, on one days, like uh, one of those days, I can make more money on that day than maybe, you know, three days of these choppy markets, right? And I spend so much less time trading during those bullish days than I do during days like this where it's like watching paint dry. So again, a simple encouragement, especially for the second half of 2022 is know how to hold yourself back know what you're looking for and don't be afraid to say no right this just doesn't meet my criteria yes i could potentially make money but it's just not favorable conditions for me or for what i'm looking for and i would rather save my day trades to not open myself to risk right it's, it's this idea of like the trade less profit more uh, one of the things that i do want to share with you guys is uh, there was specific data and reports that were released today so again today's friday june 1st uh, we had the pmi final report come out this was 15 minutes after the market opened, the actual was 52.7. And then 30 minutes after the market opened, the ISM uh, index report came out and also the construction spending, the one that really had the influence. I don't know if you guys saw how the market began to move, but this key, uh, this thing came out 53% when the expectation was 55% and the prior month was 56.1%. So again, something to take into consideration because right at seven, if you guys could see this, right when it turned to 10 Eastern time, we saw a nice little push up to 2444 and actually now that i think of it that if the only reason we hit highs of 2444 was because of that report that was a positive catalyst something that's going to be short-lived so when asking the question you know can we make it back here or make it back to $24. I almost don't even want to take $24.44 into consideration because we don't even have that catalyst that might even follow up with later, right? Uh, the more common resistance range was right around $24.12. So if, if we're looking at the current price point right now in $24.12, that's around a 3% upside margin, which again, isn't horrible, but the downside risk is about 1%. So if three to one ratios are favorable for you, then again, all power to you might be a day worth looking into. I just think that when we're trading below the moving average, when the market is choppy, when market sentiment is not in our favor, you know, you're just adding more layers of risk and, and more of a chance for your trade to not go according to plan. Uh, and I think days like this are 
the best days to set alerts at critical levels above and below, right? You guys see my two alerts here. If we break below support, if we break above resistance, I can you know, get alerted, I can follow up with it. Other than that, I can continue with my Friday and not have to waste hours and hours watching and waiting for something to play out that might not even be worth it, right? So again, I'm just trying to save you guys time. I hope that you guys appreciate that. And if you guys have any specific questions that you guys would like to ask me, I hope that you guys know that you can always send me a direct message via Discord. I have a little bit over 40,000 members within our free trading group chat, and that's going to be that first link down below. So if you guys have um, any other questions, feel free to comment down below. Just a uh, friendly reminder, uh, I do upload new videos every single day, especially um, if you're just getting into the stock market. Um, this, is, this is probably something that you're going to want to subscribe to. So I appreciate you guys' time. Hope that we earned your thumbs up. Um, if you guys have, um, what's it called? Uh, one of the things that I did want to, oh, my, my, my last thing is on Monday, um, in observance to uh, Independence Day, uh, the stock market will be closed. So please make sure that you are aware of that um, and yeah, uh, enjoy your three-day weekend. So we'll see you guys on the next one. If you guys want to watch me trade live as soon as Tuesday at Market Open, click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about our group and to see if it's a good fit for you. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on our green note. Take it easy, team.